Hey guys and welcome to TGV's review of Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. It's just taking a while to load because I haven't played it in ages. Um, so yeah, basically, Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword is a fantastic little game made by a couple of students who, when they originally made Mountain Blade, were uni students. And, um, it's a very small team who managed to make one of the most realistic medieval simulators ever. This became well, it spread like wildfire amongst PC gamers and um it got lots of mods like a Lord of the Rings mod or a Western mod or a Star Wars mod. But this is all in the vanilla Mountain Blade. I don't know why, it might just be because the other two are less moddable or because everyone started their mods on the original. But the two sequels, Warband and Fire and Sword, don't have any mods as far as I can find. Um yeah sorry um my recording equipment stopped working yeah so basically um this is the third one the original was set in a fictional land warband continued this but added on new land f kind of polished the game and put in multiplayer this one is set in europe real world um, during the time that guns and grenades just came in. So I'm just going to play through it and show you off my play warband. Uh, don't be put off by the graphics, it's not amazing graphics, but um, it's not bad graphics. So I'm just going to put in my name is TGV. And what, what do you think? Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to have Power Strike. The, this is like the leveling up system. It's got all the things that you can level up in. Yeah, trade's good. Prisoner management. Oh, I like. Okay, and um. There we go. And then this is the character creation. I'm just making a stupid face, by the way. I'd, to be honest, in Mountain Blade, I'd advise not dabbling with these, just because these can very quickly change the appearance in a way you don't want them to. So I, I would stick to the skin and just stick with the vanilla skin that it gives you. So this 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 is me. Just give him a beard. Yes, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, your travels are taking your travels are taking you to a small Cossack village in the outskirts of the wilderness. As you stroll past this, the silence is broken by gunshots. I'm gonna see what troubles afoot. This is just like a tutorial. It suggests that Fire and Sword has a storyline, but I've never found one. All of them are just completely open world, do what you want. Um there are quests but they're not really your generic RPG one. Don't be put off by the tutorial either, it's a kind of silly sounding one, but I really like the game. It's r it's, it's really worth playing. Because as soon as you get past the stupid tutorial, 
it gets really good. Where are you? Oh, you guys are going over there. Fair enough, I'll follow you. Uh, you just stole my horse. There we Full record also one of the other things I love about this is it's fully first person look. Look at me. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, but now I shall be moving on. So yeah, this is the full map. Look, look, look at this. Basically, when you're not moving around, the game's pause. So you can choose your next strategy, but um, after that, the game unpauses until you can reach your next destination. Now. This is how travel works in the game, but um, it's not how the, where the how the whole game commences. Which, if you left click, it shows you where you are. Let's head to Smolensk. I paid one failure to myself. Okay, yeah, the currency's failure. And here we are, Smolensk. Let, let's take a walk around the streets. And it loads. I mean, the cities aren't massive, but, you know, they're cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and kill this guy. Why ain't you hitting him, fool? So yeah, you can join a kingdom, and you can rebel against that kingdom. You can become a lord, you can own your own cities. So in one of my games, um, I asked for um, a city I won, and it was one of the capital cities of another country. And my king said, oh, no, you're too pathetic. So I rebelled against him, took the city for myself, and now I'm at war with him. But I started a new game because, well... Come on, this guy's clearly awesome. Anyways, so yeah. 
Thanks for watching TGV's review of Mountain Blade with Fired Sword. I'd give it a um, score of 86 out of 100 uh, based on the gameplay, amount of enjoyment you can get out of it. Multiplayer is definitely fun. And um, I'm not going to mark it down on graphics, like I wouldn't mark down Minecraft for graphics. But I will mark it down on stuff like. Actually, I can't think of anything to mark it down on other than the fact that I don't think it's an absolutely amazing game. Okay, I'll mark it down on the fact that I'm not marking it down on graphics, I'm marking it down on animations. <clears throat> that it could be more smooth. And also, I'd like it to, it to be optional, the whole map system. But other than that, that doesn't really bother me much. But still, yeah. It's that's my score. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.